Howdy Lone Stars, I'm back. And today we've got $40 worth of Texas lottery tickets. I owed you guys the $20 million dollar loteria. I didn't have that on my original new ticket video and I finally saw it out somewhere. So I figured I'd pick that up so you guys can see that. It looks very similar to the previous versions. It's just under a new game number and a new color scheme. Uh, we've got three of the new $5 Rose Gold Riches and one of the $5 Willy Wonka Golden Ticket. So $40 session today, hoping for big, big wins. Additionally, um, it's been a month now that I've lost my Snickers, my cat. And I think I can finally talk about it without just completely busting out into tears. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about her throughout this video. And if you want to see some footage of her, I have a, a video I'll add after I'm done scratching the tickets. So you guys can see a little bit of what my baby girl was like. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna tell you guys what happened and give you a little bit of information about her as we scratch these tickets. We're gonna start with the $5 Willy Wonka golden ticket. We're looking for a 5X, 10X, or a matching number. So as I said, my cat's name was Snickers. I actually had Snickers since 2005. So 16 years we had been at each other's side. Um, she was actually 17 years old. She was about a year old when I got her. She was a stray and uh, back when she found me, I lived at my apartment complex. She walked up to me one night and it was evident she hadn't had anything to eat and she was tired and she needed a place to lay her head down. And back then I was like 19 years old, had just been out on my own for a little while but I knew she had to be our cat. So we took her in, we took care of her, we fed her. We all fell in love with one another and she joined our family for a long time. It was just her um, from about 2005 to about 2009, 2010, more or less. And I'm not even checking these numbers. Let's see, seven, six, 14, we have a 14, 31, and 26. All right, I think it's just the 14. I think we got ourselves a $20 win on this guy. All right, very cool. I wasn't even gonna buy this ticket. Um, I only got it because there was only three rose gold riches left. I was gonna get four of those, but there's just three left. All right, Rose Gold Riches, we have tickets 73 through 75. Last three in the pack. We're looking for a, a pot of gold for the auto win, a gold bar for five times, or a matching number. So like I said, she was our only cat for a while, so she was definitely spoiled. Her and Peppy lived together for years and never quite got along. She was older than him. He was always a very playful kitten. He liked to rough house. She was not into that. So they tolerated each other. I can definitely tell you though, he misses her. He's been devastated since I think he realized she's actually gone. He's become very clingy, very vocal. He's rejecting some of his food on me. I know he'll be okay. It's just, he's got to get used to it. But in any case, um, everything was fine with her. She appeared to be in good health for a long time. And in case you don't know this, uh, 17 years old for a cat is basically considered a super senior. That's the term they use. The typical, there we go, we've got a 49. The typical lifespan of most cats is under 10 years with house cats being a little bit higher. Um, but even then, 17 years is still very, very good um, for a cat to to share their life with you. So I'm blessed. I did get a long time with her. Um, I guess the hardest part for me is that I think things could have been different. She was in good health in March. I took pictures of her. She looked a little bit older, you know, she was getting tired on me. But outside of that, she was good. She was playful. She was loving. She was her usual self. In April, I bought some uh, treats, some treats for their teeth. Um, I, 
Purdue. They're called greenies for teeth. Unbeknownst to me, they were very hard. And with her being older, more than likely she had dental issues we were unaware about. The night I put her down, I found out that her jaw had been fractured. And the only possible way that could have happened was by biting down on those treats too hard. We had been to various vets before we put her down, but my cat was aggressive. She did not like to be handled. She hated going to the vet. They couldn't get a good enough look at her. We were under the impression she just had a dental infection. It wasn't till that last night that because I think she was a little medicated because I would medicate her to give her her baths to clean her up that she actually let somebody handle her enough for them to realize that it was more than a dental infection and she had a fractured jaw that was not going to heal on its own and for it to heal she would have had to have been put through a lot a lot that her little 17 year old body probably wouldn't be able to handle and it was going to be a lot of pain and that's when the vet kind of told me you know it's time to let her go she's not going to get better like you maybe are hoping she is i'm telling you for sure that's not going to happen your cat loves you that's why she keeps eating she never stopped eating she was eating four to five times a day all right we've got a auto win pot of gold so she said you know it's up to you but i think it's time we think about that and the moment I knew that she was in that level of pain that I was unaware about is when I got a 36, when I made the very, very difficult decision to say goodbye. So that's a little bit of the story as to how things played out that way. She was technically sick um, about six weeks. Those six weeks were incredibly hard on both of us. Um, she was always a very independent cat. She never really cared to be babied. My peppy loves to be babied. She not so much. Miata, Roadrunner, Maracas. Um, and I had to, I had to start doing things for her. Like I said, grooming her, washing her separating her when it was dinner time to make sure Mr. Peppy didn't take her food. And it was rough. It was very difficult for the both of us, for me to see her going through that, for her to be going through that. Um, but I'm grateful that, you know, I at least had an opportunity to be with her and love on her and do all of those things. I, of course, my biggest regret is having ever bought those treats I bought. Um, I'll never know for sure if that's what did it, but it's the only thing that changed in her life that I think could have caused it. Lizard boar butterfly. Um, so for me, one of my biggest regrets in life is having ever, ever purchased those and given them to her and, you know, I'll, I'll never know for sure. There's no way to know for sure, but I'm pretty convinced. And it just breaks my heart because I feel like she could have had more years with us still had that not have happened. Horseshoe, Mockingbird, Fire. Um, yeah. So it's been a month now and we had her cremated and we brought her ashes home with us um a couple i think it was about a week after we had her cremated so we have a really a nice little special box with an engraving with her name and a little message for her and we got a little imprint of her of her paw a little paw imprint to go with it so she was my first real pet as an adult she was the closest thing I had to a child. I mean, we spent 16 years together. Um, I'm starting to feel like I wanna cry and I really don't want to, so I'm gonna cut this short real quick. Um, 
I'll always love her and I'll always miss her. And I don't think that'll ever go away completely. But I've come to terms with the fact that it was time to let her go. It was the right thing to do. And yeah, so that's it. I told you guys that I would kind of share what happened. So that was the point of this. Um, like I said, if you want to see video pictures of her, I'll have some right after I finish scratching these tickets. All right, wheel, strawberry cardinal. I think that's it. All right, guitar, cowboy hat, armadillo. Oops, too far down. Guitar, cowboy hat, armadillo. Guitar, cowboy hat, armadillo. Guitar, cowboy hat, armadillo. Bat, jackrabbit, pecan tree. Bat, jackrabbit, pecan tree. Bat, jackrabbit, pecan tree. Moon Star Spear Race Car. Moon Star Spear Race Car. Moon Star Spear Race Car. Next three. Covered wagon, moonrise, people shoes. Covered wagon, moonrise, people shoes. People shoes. Moonrise. Moonrise, covered wagon, people shoes. Last three. Saddle, corn, newspaper. Saddle corn newspaper. Looks like it was a big tease. Let's try the bonuses. No love on our $20 million dollar loteria, but we did get some of our money back. Most of our money back, I should say. Uh, we won on most of our fives. We only lost on one of them. Let me see. I was kind of distracted talking to you guys about my Snickers. Yeah, we got most of our money back. So the million dollar Loteria did not take care of us. But lucky for us, the rest of the tickets did. Anyway, enjoy this footage of my baby girl Snickers. For those of you that have cared to ask and have reached out and all of that good stuff. Thank you so much. It means the world. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.